Et une première défaite. Et quels sont aujourd'hui pour vous les ressorts sur lesquels vous devrez vous apesantir pour pouvoir vous relancer dans la compétition um, D'abord, il faut, faut rester concentré c'est sur la concentration parce que je trouve que on, on était dans le match et on a manqué de concentration. Alors c'est sur ça qu'il faut, faut être basé sur et aussi tactiquement, physiquement, on va être beaucoup mieux parce qu'on a, on a bossé et j'ai confiance en mes joueurs, j'ai confiance en mes joueurs, j'ai confiance au staff et je pense qu'on verra un tout autre Ghana demain. The question was after the, the, the first match lost by, uh, by Ghana, what will be the, 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 the tools for them to be able to, to, to get better in the second match? Um, you can rest and try it in English as well. Mm. What do you want me to try? In English, the same question in English, the answer. Well, um, I feel like the first game, we, we, know, we didn't concentrate for 90, 95, 98. 100 minutes, and that's what cost us the game. Um, the most important thing for us is to come back, stay focused, be as a team, and show different qualities that we have, and be more aggressive in every department, and we'll be fine. I have total belief in the, the boys, the, the staff, who are working really hard, and I know that tomorrow will be a, a really good day for and for Ghana, so I'm really confident and, yeah. Questions? It's very complicated, but we are in Ghana. We are in a period a bit complicated, but it's part of the football. You have to fight, you have to relever, you have to fight. And I think that with the players we have, we can pose any problem to anyone. So there is no problem to do that. Tomorrow, we have to go on the terrain. Il faut gommer les erreurs qu'on a, on a fait auparavant et se battre et tout donner pour avoir un bon résultat. I mean, the question was, what is the state of the spirit uh, of the Black Stars after losing this first game uh, for, the, for the second game? The answer is, uh, Jordan was saying, they're ready, they don't have a choice. They've done certain mistakes from the first match. They have to correct those mistakes and be ready for this match. And you can trust him. Uh, they are ready, they are prepared for it, and they are ready to play and uh, go further in this competition against Egypt. Let's answer the same question in English, because I was talking to the coach. Thank um, you. The one, the, that yes, the lady. one of the lady. Well, um, obviously tomorrow is going to be a tough game. Um, the boys were ready, we put ourselves in a our own selves in, a, in this situation, so we need to come out of it. And you know, you never know in football, so tomorrow we we'll, are we'll ready, we'll give our best, we'll fight, we'll represent we'll Ghana as well as we can, put in a better performance as a team, and hopefully tomorrow everyone will be happy. Okay, allez-y. Bonjour, coach. Bonjour, Jordan. Jordan, the hope of the Ghanaian nation is on you guys, you players of Black Stars, and uh, you as part of the key players of the team. How do you go? What you gonna do to make it happen tomorrow for the Black Stars? Um, Je réponds en français. En français et en anglais. D'abord, euh, écoute, ça va, ça va pas être facile, ça va être un match compliqué, mais on a les atouts pour avoir un bon résultat et c'est ce qu'on va faire demain. On va aller sur le terrain, on va donner le meilleur de nous-mêmes, on va élever nos, nos, notre niveau de performance et Inch'Allah, demain, ça sera un bon jour pour nous. En anglais. Um, tomorrow, obviously, it's going to be a tough game. It's not going to be an easy game. Um, as, as, a, as a team, as players, we are, we are ready for the challenge and, you know, we we have believe in ourselves that tomorrow we can we can have a good result and you know we we just need to keep on pushing hard it's not easy but you need to force the luck and to force the luck you need to work hard you need to fight and tomorrow we are ready to fight we are ready to give everything we are ready to give our blood on the pitch and that's what we're going to do okay there on the well um obviously there's in football, there's no small nation anymore, and uh, we all know that for the past couple of years now. 
Listen, we, that's the situation we are in now. We cannot change it. So the only thing we can do is to look forward and to look forward as the game tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to go on the pitch with determination, fight, good team spirit and elevate our performance to, to give it a go and we'll see what will happen after the game. Okay. They're on the back. Disqualified yet? Oh, you are not. So you cannot say it. When we are disqualified, then you can speak. Thank you. Here. Yeah. When are we in the chase, he's on the pitch. Well, um, first of all, I don't agree with that because any, everyone that plays football this is bread and butter and uh, everyone gives his 100%. Sometimes things go your way, sometimes things don't go your way. But I think um, we need to do more, that's for sure. And we are ready to do more and we are going to do more. So nobody should, should worry about that. And tomorrow is a big day and we know that it's a big day and we know how... It, how much it means to to Ghanaians, and for we, we ourselves personally, we, we want to perform. We want to perform in this tournament. We, we didn't just come here just to to visit Abidjan. We came here to to perform well. So we'll see tomorrow, and we're ready. We're ready, and you cannot. I, I wouldn't agree when you people say people lack commitment or no. No one lacks commitment. Everyone is fully committed. It's just that sometimes things go your way, things don't go your way. But you need to force things. And tomorrow we're going to force things, and we'll see after that. En français, Jordan, pour clôturer la conférence de presse.